What's up guys, Kyle from Pool Supply. We've got Greg here with me today. We are going to run through the types of glass media that you guys are gonna need with a TR100 Pentair sand filter. Uh, we've got the coarse and the fine. Um, stay tuned. All right, and we're back. So again, today we are going to use the glass media instead of your traditional sand on Pentair's TR100 sand filter. Um, typically for about 400 pounds of sand, it's going to actually call for 10 bags of the fine and four bags of the coarse. So the coarse is actually going to take place of your traditional pea gravel, and then your traditional sand will actually take place of the fine glass media. So this is supposed to filter a lot better for your system using less material. So we're gonna jump in and we're gonna get this thing up and, and fill it all up. So let's do it. Yeah, but at least this one's Tag team! Yeah, we have more than we need. Sweet! Get me I am. We always recommend using two people when lifting these filters. You never want to drop them and crack the base. Sweet. Once you have it in a good spot, then we're going to attach the backwash valve. All right, so what you want to do now is you see the strap, this kind of holds everything together like a tight package during shipping. Well, my assistant here takes a phone call apparently. <laughs> Nerd. All right, so now what we're going to do is cut the straps off. It's kind of tight. Oh, now I got a new assistant. All right. So that's all it is. Take the strap off. So now we're going to take the new backwash valve assembly that I don't know where it is. And we're going to pop that bad boy on and get lined up exactly where we need to be. So we're going to go find this back backwash valve. Be right back. Hang on. All right, we're back. And Greg's still on his phone. And now open up the backwash valve. Mm. So as you can see here, it's the new one that has a nut on the outside of it, so it doesn't have the screws. So this is the good one. It actually pulls real nicely and it twists real nicely. It's factory lube, so you don't take the whole thing apart. Um, it's got factory lube O-ring as well. They're real greasy, so try not to touch everything. Um, so what you're gonna do is just really slide right on the backwash valve. It's gonna try to bounce off on you because the O-rings are brand new and real tight. Um, so they are a little bit extracted and expanded. So then now, Greg, do I use tools to tighten these nuts? Nope, hand tight, baby. Yeah. All right. So let's back her up a little bit. All right, guys, we are going to start adding the glass media into the TR100 here after uh, we got it all plumbed in and ready to go. So they actually suggest making sure you guys fill it up with water uh, just above the, the laterals inside there, a few inches above the laterals, and then we'll go ahead and start adding the coarse, uh, the coarse glass in there. So the reason this guy's sideways, comes sideways from the factory here, is so we don't pour sand down into the top of it. So as we're dumping sand down in here, the coarse stuff, we're gonna fill it up above the laterals, then the fine on top, and then we're gonna tip this up at the end here once we're all done and ready to seal it back up. In this case, it's glass. In this case, it's glass, not sand. A fine ocean glass. It's expensive, but get it all in there. Yeah. You can purchase it in 50 pound bags, but uh, they're much harder to come across than the 25 pounds. So today we got a bunch of 25 pounds for you. Get down the front. You want to cut these other two? I'm going to show them. Yeah. Switching. 
that way you don't have to worry about me cutting you. All multicolor too. Yeah. It's made from old beer bottles. Old beer bottles. <laughs> So first for all of us, last one. Woo. All right, there we go, cool, cool. Now once you got all that going, we're gonna go ahead, and move on to the fine. Dang, you fine. <laughs> How many bags of fine? 10 bags. All right, guys, we got all four bags of the course glass media in here. So we're gonna actually jump in and start with the fine. And uh, we're gonna actually do 10 bags today. So stay with us. All right, so we got all 10 bags of the fine glass media in here. Get you guys a picture up close so you guys can check it out. So something neat about this uh, Dr. Dryden's Activate is what it says on the back here is, where was it? There we go. So something neat that it says on here, never needs replacing. So if you've ever replaced sand before, that is huge to you. That's huge to my bloody hands that we're getting sand out of here from the first time. <laughs> That's awesome. Better water in 48 hours, reduced backwash water by 50%. Lots and lots of benefits to this glass over sand, not to mention just needing less of it and then never changing it. That's huge. So we highly suggest switch from sand, go to the glass. All right, so we are going to jump in. We're gonna get the lid on and uh, we're gonna kind of do our finish up. We're gonna paint the pipes. We're gonna get this uh, thing up and running so you guys can hear it going. So. Stay tuned, we're gonna jump right into that. Like, uh, like Greg said earlier, you got the top part of the filter here that's turned sideways when you're adding in all that sand so it doesn't get all, or the glass media in this case, so it doesn't get all in the uh, the filter part on the top here. You're actually gonna make sure you lift that up so that it's, uh, it's ready to go and it's in use. And then Greg's actually going to jump into the lid here. So we got the lid, pulled it out of the bag, we got the pressure relief valve on top with the nut to lock it in. This uh, O-ring comes pre-lubed from the factory. It's ready to go. So we're gonna assemble this before we screw this lid on. So if you're to screw this lid on, this isn't gonna go on. And get that on there. Hand tight. Hand tight, everything hand tight. Don't be taking channel locks for this stuff. No. There's also an O-ring on top of here to help this seal. There we go, it's tight. Now I'm gonna take this, tighten it in there. That stuff's cool. <laughs> <laughs> take your time, don't cross thread it. I may have right then. Just check. I'm going the wrong way. There it goes. Nope, it's just tight. Comes with this cool little tool, tighten it down. Now, ideally, I want this gauge to line up where you can read it from over there, but really here we have access to everything, every angle, so we can see it. Another thing? Oh, it's gonna go now, and I can't. Some muscles. Good. I'm gonna read this gauge. Sweet. Oh, perfect. Cool, cool. You can almost read this gauge. Got everything sealed up. Anything yep. you want to add? 
no, let's uh, let's jump into finishing up the insulation. Let's get them pipes painted and uh, get this thing fired up. Sweet. All right, guys. So I fixed the gauge for Greg because he couldn't figure out how to do it right. But uh, I uh, now we're gonna paint this. So uh, they actually make. Oh, I'm gonna fall backwards. Almond paint. Uh, that's all it really is. Is almond paint for Pentair to kind of match everything. So it's this nice color to kind of get close enough. Maybe. Um, I like to rag everything off to make sure you keep your, your surfaces clean so you don't just get overspray everywhere, especially in the pump lid. Uh, don't spray paint your pump lids. So let's get started and paint these pipes up, make it look all pretty. We uh, painted all of our pipes, made them look all nice and pretty for the uh, new install. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean up our workspace and then we're gonna fire this thing up and uh, see what happens. See how fast we can turn this pool around from, uh, looks a little cloudy. Let's talk about this photo of what this pool looks like currently. And uh, yeah, what we're gonna do is um, turn on, see what happens, yeehaw. All right, so we got it all sealed back up, everything painted, looking good. Uh, pressure relief valve up here. We're gonna go ahead and fire it up. First time firing it up. Let's take a look. It may take a little while to prime. Obviously from having this torn apart, there's uh, a lot of air in the system. So we gotta let all that air bleed out and purge out. You'll see it on the return lines of the pool coming out or the pop-up head. But we'll give it some time here. Here, start pressuring up. As long as Jacob plumbed everything right, we should be good to go. Aha, <laughs> Boy, that stresses me out. Gauge is rising. We building pressure. guys thanks for watching today um today we installed a tr100 with glass media inside of it coarse and fine we really appreciate you guys watching one more thing is there is this little gauge thing right here that says uh start and clean i'm pretty sure yeah start and clean filter so you can actually adjust it to what your working pressure is and when it gets up you can backwash if you'd like but again i'm jacob i'm greg i'm kyle thanks for watching hey everyone thanks for watching Subscribe today if you haven't subscribed. Check out the links below and we got a lot more content coming your way. Thank you.